Do you want to know how I get from building simple and basic creations like this to more advanced build that got me on the Brothers Brick and even at the Lego house? The answer is sorting. A few years ago, a small Lego gift awakened my passion for the colorful bricks, but I soon realized that this hobby is very expensive and it takes up a lot of space. My solution was to buy less sets and start to build mocks. My first step into this journey was digital. I started to build my own things with LEGO Digital Designer and BrickLink Studio. LEGO Ideas was the perfect platform to share my creations, but even though some builds turn out pretty well, I always find myself struggling to sit in front of a computer and start a new project. I need to get my hands on the bricks, and so I did it. I started to buy some loose bricks and clean up my old collection from when I was a kid. In this mess, it was difficult to build something interesting and very hard to find the pieces that I was looking for. That's when I started my first attempt at sorting. I grabbed some containers and enjoyed the process, but now I have a problem. I can't leave all these containers laying around the house all the time. My first solution was a mistake. I put all the boxes into a bigger box. The house was tidy, but building was pain, literally. In and out every time, find the pieces buried at the bottom. My back was hurting. There must be a better way. I tested out some different containers, commonly used into the LEGO community, and some works really well, like this one, but how many little drawers do I have to open every time I build something? How many of these do I need for my collection? And I don't have nearly enough space to fit many of these. Here is when Master Tiago Catarino give us the solution, IKEA Alex Drawer Unit. They are not cheap, so I went online and bought a second one. Second -hand one. It was life-changing. Now I can sit at my desk and all my bricks are easily accessible. No waste of time, no back pain, no messy workstation. All my part collection fits into this 50 by 7 cm space. Enough bricks to build the over 150 mocks that I built for my channel in the past year and a half. We all dream a massive collection and our own Lego room, but we can always make good use of what we have available in terms of budget and in terms of space. But there is one more uh, sorting secret for everyone. I advise you to sort by color. Wait, I don't mean you have to throw everything together like this. First, you have to sort by type and then by color. I realized then when building, I'm mostly looking at colors more than parts. Are you building a castle? Let's get all the grays out. Building a landscape? Let me get the green. Star Wars build on Tatooine? Time to take out all the tan. It's very hard to build with the right pieces and the wrong color, but if you have the right color, you can always work out a way to put different pieces together. If your collection, collection is not very big like mine, you can start by sorting colors in batches. For example, here I have grays, blacks and whites. Here I have yellows, browns and tans, and so on. As your collection grows, you can sort more efficiently. I have one more piece of advice. We all have those pieces that don't really fit into any category. Or we don't have enough of those, right? Sort them by color, keep them together. When you're building something in that specific color, have a look at those. You might find the MPU that you were looking for. Uh, do let me know in the comments down below what your, your sorting advice. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider to like, comment and subscribe. Do check out my building journey on my channel. I have all sorts of Lego mocks and tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.